<laughs> We're back in our living room. <laughs> Carlos is here on my right. Hi. And today we, um, you know what? I did a lot of filming this morning for my other channel and I worked on a few sponsorships. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, what should I eat? For my mukbang channel and um yeah i couldn't think of anything so then carlos was like i really want boston market so we decided to have dinner together today hopefully you guys don't mind the casualness of this mukbang carlos is having some chicken noodle soup it's so good guys they have the best chicken noodle soup there we also oh. have some cornbread Ooh. i had one in the car it's really dry i was like dying of thirst and then we have some gravy, Ooh. some potatoes, corn, half a chicken. <laughs> he told me to get half a chicken. Oh. Uh, uh, apple cobbler. Oh. Mashed potatoes. Oh, it's turned into a feast. <laughs> hey, I really like the cornbread. Mac and cheese. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thanks, babe. Of course. How's your chicken noodle soup? It's really good. I think they make the best chicken noodle soup, huh? Mm hmm. I remember the first, the last time we had it. Was the first time we had it? It was the first time we had it. And Kim had, um, like, they give you a cup, like, like that. Oh wait, no, I can't. You can't really see. Anyways, they give you a decent sized cup of chicken noodle soup. They gave you bigger. They shrunk the size. Oh. Remember it was a see-through? And like Kim was like, she was so in love with it. She literally finished all of it. And I was so surprised because she usually doesn't finish her food sometimes. I love chicken noodle soup. But she was just going ham and I was like, dang, it's good, huh? And she's like, yeah. Hey, baby, mm -hmm. we can save this and have it as cups. <laughs> That's what my mom does. My mom too. Mmm. Mm. Hey, I really like the cornbread. Um, I think it's good too, but it's like really dry. Mmm. You want me to get us plates? Little ones? Or are you okay? No, we can eat together. Mmm. Mmm. I love chicken noodle soup. I've been washing. Mmm. Mm. I've been washing. I worked all day and then Carlos um, did all the laundry. It's been uh... It's just like... It's just like crappy for us because like our laundry machine is on the third floor. Mm-hmm. The uh, thing that sucks is that... Well today... Um... It was good because there weren't, there wasn't anybody um, washing or anything like that. But aside from that, whenever we start to dry our clothes, our drying machine, our dryers, kind of suck here at these appointments. They're weak, so we have to dry it twice and yeah. pay twice. So we don't have um, a washer and dryer in our apartment. The only, um, the only apartments in our complex that have it are the townhouses. And then some and, of the one bedrooms, which oh, is that's, weird. that's so cool. But anyways, our apartment complex doesn't have a washer and dryer. So we have to go all the way up to the third floor. And there's like a laundry room. And there's like maybe like six washers and six dryers. So since Carlos and I work from home, we try to do it during the day when um, other people are at work. So we don't have to like wait on anybody. But the washers are good. But the dryers are super slow. So sometimes we have to pay twice to dry our clothes twice mm -hmm. oh yeah we have to pay for it i know some apartment complex don't even have to pay for their washing really and drying i i remember it used to be free and then they started charging but i I'm, i i mean i understand because you're using water and everything but right um but yeah so, i mean you would think that <clears throat> like i said like what oh i can't talk right now like I said, remember Veronica told us that some of the apartments here, the smaller two bedrooms, sorry, not the one bedrooms, but the smaller two bedrooms, some of them have the the washer and dryer. I wonder which one it is. 
But you would think that the biggest one, which is the one that we're in, the biggest two bedroom, would have one, right? Right. We As have aside biggest... from aside from the townhome. Hmm. Like you would think that we would have like a washer and dryer. We're the second biggest apartment under a townhouse. Mm -hmm. So I wonder why we wouldn't have it. It'd be nice if we had one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Honestly, you could just throw in a load while you're like. You know, I'm like really excited to buy a washer and I'm dryer yeah. when we move out. I'm so excited to like have our own. Oh my gosh. I've always wanted a laundry room on the second floor. Um. If we do choose to have, is it good? Mm. I wish you could see his face right now. Um, so good. If we do choose to buy a house that has two floors, mm -hmm. I've always wanted a laundry room on the second floor with like a little lounge area. I can like sit there and do laundry. <laughs> Cooper lost his ball. Plus we could just sit there and fold. Yeah. Um... But, what's up? I'm thankful that we actually do have washer and dryers here because some apartments don't even have a laundry mat. Oh my god, they have to like go out. Do we have to go to like an actual laundry place? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh man. No, that's a hassle. You know, mom says come to her house and wash. I know, but I feel weird. <laughs> my mom lives like literally right across the street from us. And when literally. I, <laughs> literally. You can walk there. Um, and my, when I moved out, she was, she was like, oh, do you guys need a, a washing and dry, like a dryer? And I was like, oh, mom, we can't have that in our apartment. And she was like, oh, my God, then come wash at my house so you guys don't have to pay. Hi, Cooper. I think we did wash there like one time, didn't we? Yeah, I brought clothes over to wash. But that was because nobody was home. And so I didn't feel weird about it. You need to try the chicken. It's bomb. Here, let me go get a fork. Sorry, Papa. You can't have Papa, it. Papa, down. Oh, look. You can see him. Papa, down. <laughs> down, Papa. Papa, you know your manners. You don't do that. Babe? Yeah? Um, can you get me a cup of ice? Sure. With the um the the thing the thing I just got. Ginger ale. The Coke Zero. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Couldn't think of it for a minute. Hey, Rocky! Absolutely not. No, no, no. Mommy and Daddy just fed you. Down. Down. Sorry for the noise. Down. Hey. Your dogs are not behaving. Cooper, down. Cooper, down, baby. Down. We're trying to teach them table manners. No. So when we have people over for dinner, they don't do that because that's not polite. Mommy and daddy just fed you guys. Are literally, do your dogs act like they are not fed? I think, I think everyone's dog does. She's Louise. Oh my God, this chicken is bomb, babe. Mmm. Oh. So good. Wow. So delicious. I love the wing. It's so um, crunchy. We just changed our light bulb in our living room to, we, we have a lamp right there, to um, daylight, white lighting. It looks so much better. Really opens up the living room. That used to be yellow lighting, you guys. And it made the room look so gloomy. It was pretty, yeah, it was pretty gross. Lighting is so important. I love daylight lighting. <laughs> I want to change our um. I want to change our bathroom lighting because it's kind of yellow, huh, babe? Yeah, a little bit. I got them at Target. 
There you go. Thanks, my love. Oh man, I didn't bring another one. You can use a spoon if you want. I'm okay. It's okay. Oh. Carlos is eating the mash. Ooh, looks good. You know what's weird about me? What? I don't like gravy. Um, uh, I do like gravy. Mm. Is it super good? Mm -hmm. I love soup. You guys know I can live off soup. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. We should have had Olive Garden soup today. Oh yeah. Their salad, their uh, pasta is actually kind of sad. Mmm. Maybe it was just that one, but... No, 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 no. You think it is overall? I remember it used to be really good. Olive Garden used to be, like, fancy. Yeah, I kind of remember it being like, oh, we're going to Olive Garden, so it's still like, you have to kind of... Dress, dress up? Dress a little bit nicer. I don't know why I remember it that way. Mmm. Potato wedges. <laughs> Those are good. Mm. You were the one that introduced me to Boston Market. I had it like one. Actually, I've never, I had never had it. But I had, like, I saw the type of food that they had and I was like, oh, I kind of like that. It looks pretty good. So I was like, why not? Yeah. I didn't know you can get half a chicken. I thought you had to commit. We got a full one? We got a full chicken last time. Yeah, that's really good. Ooh, the mac and cheese is pretty good too. Doesn't taste too cheesy. I'm really excited for the apple uh, pie cobbler thing. Mmm. Mm. Oh, cover your face. Okay, <laughs> you guys got the point. <laughs> no, Papa, no. Papa? Cooper, mommy give you a snack later if you're a good boy. Yeah, deal? Mm. Oh my god, I love soup. This chicken though. Oh, this this is so good. You guys, we are so pumped for two weeks from now. Um, Breaking Bad. It's coming back with a movie mm. on Netflix. So pumped. Do you think they'll bring Walter back, babe? Who's dead? You don't know that. Yes, I do. No, you don't know that because in Prison Break... Spoiler if you haven't watched it. In Prison Break, what's his face? They, um, the ending was he died, but he came back. Mm. But in Breaking Bad, it's different. Nah. You saw him get shot. And then people the survive from gunshots. I know, but then he like But then they showed him laying on the ground. No papa stop. They showed him laying on the ground and that's that was a com no. confirmation that he's dead. I bet you a hundred bucks. How much? Hundred. Okay. You wanna go higher? Yeah. You gotta donate all five of your basketball shoes. I'll do two pairs. You're not confident, huh? He's never confident. No, I really think they're going to be like, what up? Theory. What is your theory? Walter White didn't die. He did die. He escapes before the police get there and he no, runs but, He but, runs a cartel in Mexico. No. And then somehow crosses paths with Jesse again. Huh. No. He, Money. He couldn't have escaped because when the cops got there, they showed him like right there next to a cop and the cop was like, Right on top of him, pretty much. I remember that. Yeah, like at the very Are end. Are you making that up? No, oh my gosh. We just finished rewatching it. You don't remember? No, I think he comes back. Oh my goodness. He does not come back, Wadi. 
Why did he come back? I can bet you anything he doesn't. 100 bucks. All right. Where did you that at? 100 bucks. Oh, the mac and cheese is really cheesy. Mm -mm. Well, you don't like mac and cheese to begin with. Mm. True. It's chicken, though. How's the potato wedge? Pretty good. Jizz wedges. I mean, I would have like three, maybe. Mm. It's cute, or whatever. I feel like it needs a little bit more seasoning, you know? It's kind of plain. Mm hmm. Kind of tastes like boiled potato. I love boiled potato. Mmm, oh. I'm sorry, but that chicken makes up for everything. Mm. And then this chicken noodle soup. I'm glad we have half a chicken. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh! What happened? A piece of chicken flew in my soup. Somebody wanted it. Probably Rocky. Where's Cooper? Cooper duper pooper scooper. Okay, no, no, no. Dad. Just kidding. Hey. Daddy was just asking where you were. Oh, hey, oh, no, oh, no, no. oh, 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 that did, did sorry, sound. sorry, sorry guys, let's cuddle in a little, mommy's gonna eat dinner, after dinner we can cuddle, and watch TV, actually no, we have to help daddy fold laundry, mm -hmm. Cooper says he doesn't like doing laundry, Cooper doesn't like doing anything, true, oh, he's looking at me like, wow, you just outed me out to the world, Casper says he has a job interview with Petco. Really? Yeah, he's gonna be like the, you know those, sometimes they put like those posters up? Oh shit. He's gonna be the little doggy. Oh shit, <laughs> big time fame we got. <laughs> what would you do if Petco emailed us and was like, we would like to have your dogs be the face of Petco? That'd be dope. Cooper said he's a higher class. He says he'll only do like Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein has a dog model, I would die. This is what we do with our dogs 24 7. Oh, uh, remember those? Remember they have like those. Um. Ah, uh, those, uh. Oh, what it. Why am I blanking out on everything today? You're tired. Um. Luxury. Like those luxury brands and stuff. Like the. Hmm. You know how they have Versace and stuff? Mm -hmm. Remember how they have those those uh, the same ones for dogs, but they name them differently? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like Balenciaga is Palenciaga. Mm -hmm. And then Gucci is Poochie. Oh, there's another one. I, I forgot the other ones, but... Adidas is Adidog. Mm. What? The corn is amazing. You guys, I'm gonna get them track suits. And um, that's what they're gonna be for Halloween. And they're gonna be rappers from the 80s. Really? How dope is that? I thought they were gonna be dragons from Game of Thrones. Oh no, but I like the I like the rapper idea more. And then buy them like a little uh like, like a money chain? Like a little chain, yeah. Oh come on. Come on, you you know that you know that's legit. Maybe that's legit. That's pretty legit. I'm gonna send them the splash like that. They're gonna be all like blinged out. Oh, Halloween's coming up again. Koopy, no. Cooper. 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 Cooper, Daddy's only gonna say one more time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> They're, they are so scared of Carlos and not of me at all. So I just don't even try. Papa, I, no. We'll play with you in a bit. 
Well, because like when you tell them, like when they're like um when they're when they're doing something they're not supposed to or whatever, you just say, "Oh, like you don't really say anything to them." Yeah. Rocky's really scared of like when people raise their voice, even if you're not yelling. Like, let's say, <laughs> like when I watch, because uh, right now it's football season. Um, pretty pissed about that, but that's a different story. Anyways, the Eagles are sucking major cojones. Balls. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, anyways, they suck right now. They play on Thursday. Um, but yeah, so when I'm watching the game and Rocky's out here with me and I like yell when they like score a touchdown or because- Oh my god, he gets so scared. Or because they do something, like he gets really scared and he thinks I'm yelling at him and it makes me feel bad. He wants attention. I know, you You always want attention. You, you get enough attention from everybody, oh literally. Oh my god, everybody loves you, stop it. <laughs> oh yeah, he gets- Rocky gets really scared and goes and hides under the bed. But that's also his chill, uh, his chilling spot now. I know. Okay, Carlos guys, and I, stop, um, stop, stop. Carlos and I really want to get a new bed that is like on the floor. Like there's no space. There's no space. Um, so that they won't be able to go underneath. I can't speak today. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Uh, we want a bed where there's no space so they can't go underneath the bed because it gives us major. Um, it makes us really anxious when they go under the bed. Um, I know the dogs love going under the bed, but anyways, we've been looking for one and um, we can't seem to find one that we like. We just want like a white one, so we might just settle with Ikea, but then that requires building, oh my God, building an Ikea bed, can you imagine? <laughs> we get pissed off building a shelf. I, 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 um, I have a friend named Carlos and they built, he has like a headboard uh -huh. and on like it's um you know the back it's flat obviously and then on the sides it has little shelves it has little, yeah, yeah it has little shelves yeah, yeah. you know you can put your stuff he said it took them like it took them like three hours just to build oh, that crap God. and i was like oh you know we could always hire someone no that's such a waste of money i'd rather just do it myself i know but you get really pissed and angry and i don't want to deal with you the only reason i get pissed and angry is because i don't know it is my fault. I have no patience for that kind of stuff. So well, at least he's being honest. That's, That's not... why I buy shit from Living Spaces. Because then you just like. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I just... don't know how I worked in Alaska. What it like? If I didn't have any patience. I don't know how you did construction. But it was so easy to me though. Like. Mm. Well, I think the thing with IKEA is like it's very easy and simple. Like it's just like drawings. But I mean, you miss like one inch, like detailed step, and you're screwed. Like that one time we like put the nail in the wrong direction. Yeah, so, but I mean that was my, that was kind of like my fault. And it was like, we were screwed. We were backed up by like two hours. Because we like, um, we didn't really, I didn't really look. I just look, glanced at the instruction. Yeah, you can't glance with Ikea. And so that's why when I put it in, I was like, oh, like it's wrong. And then I checked again and I was like, oh, okay. That's you how know, you do it. You know what I need to do tonight? Declutter. So we can give mom some, uh, cups and stuff because you're seeing her tomorrow oh yeah and please bring that this, this light to mom please there's this light that she wants me to take to my mom oh uh, yeah two weeks ago come on guadi please but it weighs like 200 pounds no it doesn't i can carry it it weighs 200 pounds you guys oh my god it's an ikea light and it does not weigh 200 pounds I will look up how much it weighs. You're just lazy. Whatever. Anyways, I'm going to put together stuff and you're going to bring it to mom. Mom doesn't want more stuff. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Miho, she does. She told me. When? She texted me. First of all, mom doesn't even text me. <laughs> she calls me. Okay? Whatever, so I already Mijo. know that's wrong. Oh, Miho, I got something in my eye. Sorry, so I already know that's wrong. Wait, so she seriously doesn't want anything? No, she'll take it. Well, if she doesn't want it, give it to her friends or give it to Miriam. No, she'll take. That's mom. That's how moms are. Like you. Go I know to mom, my mom's a hoarder. You go to mom and you give her. That's what I'm saying. So, like, if we lit, okay. So you know she already has her little like uh, TV stand. 
If we come, if we go to her house and say, hey, we have another one. Do you want it? She'll be like, oh. She'll find room for it. She'll be That's like, how my mom is. She'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll keep it here. I'll, I'll, I might use it. And I was like. That's what my mom does. My mom also, like, when she's driving, not driving, when she's, t she, like, goes on her literally, like, morning walks, you know? Oh, yeah. And when she, um, you know, like, say, like, you guys have, like, an Ikea desk that you don't want anymore, so you put it in front of your house and you put a free sign. Dude, my mom literally gets excited over shit like that. Like, she sees it and she'll, she'll call me and be like, Oh my god, I just saw, like, a desk. It's, like, brand new. Like, can you help me carry? That one time you, you helped her carry the desk back to our house, remember? Oh, yeah. What happened to that? Where is it's it? It's in the garage. She, we literally have three desks in the garage that mom took from the side of the road. Wait, so you guys aren't using They're not. She's not using it? No! Her excuse was it's for Tommy and Sophia. Well, so I guess I guess we have to wait. I guess we have to wait until my um my brother and Belle move out and then maybe oh. they'll move, you know, they'll move it up there for a room cuz Sophia's going to need a place to study and like Tommy's going to get his own room. Right. Um but I just think it's funny. And then mom's whole like room is literally like from the side of the street like her drawer and everything like she took it home and repainted it and Carry, I don't even know how that woman carried that drawer upstairs by herself. I had no idea. Well, I feel like that's how a lot of, um, like, older generation, like, slash, like, immigrant mm. parents and stuff are. Yeah. I get you. My mom's but always... I, but I get it. Like, they want to say, like, if they can save money, they will. My mom's always been that way. She loves things like that. Yeah, like, my mom would go to, like, garage sales and stuff. I love garage But you would go to garage sales at like those really like fancy neighborhoods. Ah, because then you get good shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mom loves the swap meet. Oh yeah, my mom does too. You I know, hated it. That's you know the reason what? why I hate the. That's the reason why I don't like the swap meet. Because your, your mom dragged you there when you're little. Yeah. You know what? If I was like really okay, when we have a house and like I'm like really into DIY, mm -hmm. and I see like a freaking cool table on the side of the road i'm gonna bring that shit home and repaint it because you can take something on the side of the road that someone else doesn't want and and like repaint and like you know put new like hardware on it and it'll look brand new yeah true except except the bed that's a little okay no no no. i don't think people should be like getting mattresses and stuff also okay last thing when i was little i watched this one movie where this girl went to a yard sale and she got this little like dancing box and it was haunted. And it was haunted. And ever since then, I will not, absolutely not, buy anything from a yard sale. Hooper, hey. buy anything from a yard sale that's, um... Hey, 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 stop. That's, like, personal, you know? Like, a necklace. I don't know. That scares me. But it's so true, because, like, it has a lot of history with it. You don't know who's had it before. Oh, my God. Look, the dog's in the back. That's intense. Anywho, you guys, thanks for having dinner with us. Hey. Um, Casper. This was. Come here. Casper, stop. You're so mean. Actually, Cooper asked for it. Anywho, thank you for watching and having dinner with us. We know this was super casual, um, but we have a lot of things on the agenda today. We have to finish off our loads of laundry now. Oh. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Leave you a comment that? down below. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Bye, guys. Bye. You hey, boys! Say bye. Boys, say bye. Rocky, come here. Say bye, Bubba. Rocky says bye. Okay. Rocky says he was good. Can he get a snack? Rocky's always good. Oh, his hair grew so much. Rocky's literally the only one that listens. He's the only one that I will take outside without a leash. What, we already ended the video. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, no. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>